Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life, and in this video, I'm going to explain why I think the Ryobi Surface Cleaner was the best $70 we spent this summer. Now obviously it takes the Ryobi pressure washer in order to use the 15 inch surface cleaner, but the $70 that the surface cleaner cost, we've already easily got our money's worth out of it. You can see here we are at my parents' house, and I love that stripe that Jennifer was able to make right down the center of the sidewalk to show the great job that, that surface cleaner does. So we've brought the pressure washer up. We're gonna do mom and dad's sidewalk now. You can see it's got some dirt accumulation on it and it gets a little bit slippery in the winter time. So I think if we get that top layer off, it'll be a little bit more coarse for winter. Here I'm using the 40 degree fan on the pressure washer that does have an adjustable nozzle that you can adjust the angle of the pressure tip. So here I'm using 40 degrees just to clean off some of the dirt that was there so that we're not trying to pressure wash through the dirt. Here I've got it down to the zero degree and I'm doing some edging along the edge of the sidewalk here. This was actually Jennifer's idea. The pressure washer does do a really good job edging the sidewalk, but as you can see it also creates a lot of mud. So, you know, it does a nice job, but be prepared to do some cleaning afterwards because You've got mud all over the sidewalk and you've got to watch for your spraying too because you easily could have made the side of the entire house muddy uh, if we weren't paying attention to what we were doing. Here I'm just cleaning off all that mud from the sidewalk so that we can use the surface cleaner. You want to use as clean a surface as you can before you even start with the surface cleaner because any of that dirt or mud that were in there would get trapped underneath the circular section of that surface cleaner and it would make it harder for it to clean what it's actually trying to clean. You can see it does a really nice job. Our pressure washer is the Ryobi 3300 PSI. That's the most PSI that you can use with this 15 inch surface cleaner. And again, you can see here, just the dirt that was on that sidewalk. And it wasn't dirt that could just be hosed off. We've always tried with the hose. We even did the 40 degree fan on the pressure washer. And this surface cleaner is able to remove that top layer of grime that really nothing else can seem to get to. You can see it's super impressive. It looks like we just cleaned a section of blacktop road and made it into cement. Jennifer's really getting the hang of how to use that thing. The surface cleaner professional. This is one of the views I really like. I could just watch this. It's kind of mesmerizing to see how that cleans that surface of the cement right off. We didn't edge that inside edge of the sidewalk because there are electric lines there that do those landscaping lights. So here's the final cleanup. Jennifer's just using the 40 degree fan with the pressure washer to clean that dirt off that the surface cleaner loosened up.
right here we've moved on to Jennifer's parents' house. Doing the sidewalk at their house now. And it's a little bit more of a rough surface, so you see the surface cleaner doesn't just slide across it as easily as it did on the wooden deck or on the newer cement. This cement's pretty old, but it's still holding up really good as you can see. And the surface cleaner is able to get down in between those crevices and cracks. You can see it actually removed the uh, grass that was in that crack there. You have a little bit of a rougher surface it takes a little bit of getting used to and what we learned is that it's easier to pull and push the surface cleaner forward and backward on a rough surface like this than to try to go side to side and if his dad wanted to give it a try Here he's using the zero degree on the nozzle to uh, do some edging along the edges of his sidewalk and then also removing the weeds from in between the sections of sidewalk. Now this is over at a rental house that Jennifer's parents rent out. You can see those stairs were pretty dirty. No problem using the 20 degree fan to get those stairs cleaned off. And now Jennifer's using the surface cleaner on that patio at that little house. Our Ryobi does actually have a soap dispenser in it, so at some point here we did try some Simple Green in the soap dispenser. You'll see it kind of suds up, but I don't think it really made that much of a difference. The surface cleaner does such a good job just with the pressure of the water that there's really not much need to add soap. Here you can see we added those suds. So I think we can easily say that both the pressure washer and the surface cleaner were a worthwhile investment. But I would say if you're spending the money on a pressure washer, definitely spend the $70 extra or get the package that includes the $70 surface cleaner with the pressure washer. Look at the dirt coming off the wall. leave you with my favorite clip which was when Jennifer made this skunk stripe straight down the center of the sidewalk. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, make sure you give us a like down below, comment, share with your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button and the little bell beside it so that you get notified when we put out new videos. Our videos are purple collar life videos about, uh, typically we are white collar day job workers, but we enjoy or blue collar activity after work. So projects like this, a lot of tractor work, log splitters, outside work, maintaining our rural Pennsylvania lane. Thanks for watching. We'll see you the next time here on Purple Collar Life.